Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. BBC Breakfast has been flooded with complaints after a graphic scene of botched plastic surgery left viewers sickened while trying to enjoy their morning cornflakes. The shocking clip was shown at 7.30 on Sunday morning and followed a woman who, who had been left unable to eat for years after a failed weight loss operation. The segment detailed patient Pinky Jolly's heartbreaking story of her near-fatal battle with and reliance on a feeding tube after a botched surgery. Pinky had been forced to live off a liquid diet after flying to Turkey and paying £2,000 for the surgery, which had left her insides feeling like concrete and leading her internal organs to become fused. But viewers were left shocked by the scene, which saw the surgeon in the operating theater taking the interviewer through the details of his corrective surgery. Early risers were forced to sit through graphic scenes which included surgical implements being used on the woman's stomach and a camera which revealed the damage inside her digestive system. The distressed woman was left to eat a liquid diet for three years and was now severely anemic, which the surgeon explained added a further complication to his surgery. But the clip, which accompanied a discussion section around the dangers of weight loss surgery left viewers shocked by the scenes which many felt were too graphic for breakfast news. One shocked ex-user wrote, graphic surgery scenes this early in a morning, yum. While another wrote, surgery and dog s asterisk asterisk t lovely Sunday topics this morning. Others took to social media to vent their frustrations at the topic being broadcast over breakfast, while others felt it was an invasion of Pinky's privacy. In a direct address to viewers, the surgeon shared, After nearly two hours, the bypass has been achieved, but now Pinky will start losing weight extremely quickly. He added, So they're putting in a feeding tube to try to stabilize her weight. After waking up from the procedure, Pinky expressed her relief at not having to rely on a feeding tub through her nose. She added that she felt like a normal human being again. This is not the first time audiences have vented their frustrations at BBC Breakfast. Earlier this week furious BBC Breakfast fans were unhappy with Naga Munchidi's interviewing style and demanded that she and her co-host are replaced following Thursday's episode, which some viewers compared to Kids TV. Some viewers claimed the program was too light-hearted, rather than being packed full of news. During the most recent installment of The Breakfast Show, Naga and co-host Charlie State, 62, chatted with Lauren Henry, Hannah Scott, Lola Anderson, and Georgia Brayshaw, Great Britain's rowers who won gold on Wednesday in the women's quadruple skulls. The hosts interviewed the team via video call, as they were still in Paris, following their incredible success. Talking to the gold medalists, Naga said, What we love about the Olympics is we get to know you guys, and maybe we wouldn't have recognized your faces before the Olympics, and now we will. Bringing up Lola Anderson's late father, who she previously talked about in her post-win interview, Naga continued, and we love the backstories. You know, we're celebrating today, but everyone will have someone special that they're remembering, and for you, I imagine one of those people is your late father. Lola appeared to get slightly emotional, gushing that the support had been really touching, referencing how the games bring people together from all walks of life. However, some BBC Breakfast viewers expressed the belief that the question was too personal. Taking to X, fans of the program gave their opinion on today's installment, writing, Naga really pushing the boat out this morning with inane comments and personal questions. Such a lack of EQ. Naga, she may not have wanted to talk about her late dad in this moment, and no, no one was at fault for leaving it late. Hashtag Beck Breakfast.